Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, right now we'll be discussing about uh, HTML. In the last class, we we talked about how internet really works, um, the functionalities behind um, uh, behind whenever you make a kind of post request to the internet or get request to the internet. Let's say you try to um, type something in the web page, and you know you try to request an information. Maybe you try to access in a page and. The, the, the functionalities behind the scene that enables that to be possible and if you are still having a uh, uh, misunderstanding as to that please let me know in the comment section so that I can um, make it simpler a little bit you know to the best of my knowledge um, I did that so as um, for me to or uh, for me to be able to carry along and um, those that are coming from uh, a background a non-tech background to be able to follow uh, follow up I mean to be able to follow along so right now we'll be diving deep deeper by discussing what HTML really is you know why am I trying to you know to be verbose in you know uh, in this in this contest it's basically because I don't want a situation whereby uh, I might be speaking or seeing some terms and you might not have the understanding of what I was trying to say so let me First of all, discuss about the concept of um, what I'm to um, dive deep uh, into, so that you will be able to have a, a proud understanding of what I will be doing or what we will be doing in the nearest future. Now, what is HTML? If you go to um, developer.mozilla.org, which is the MDN, the MDN developer tool. MDN developer tool is just a tool that is being used by. Uh, most developers per se myself and other developer good developers out there uh, it's what it does is it enhances our learning and it enhances our tech activities and, and on, on all that you know it gives uh, it, uh, it gives an up-to-date information about what you are going to do what you're doing you know whenever you're confused as a developer you just come to and um, just make use of your MDN tools and of course your community can can also be available but um, Mozilla Developer 2 has been helpful to uh, giving understanding or giving information as to what uh, tech terms or whatever things you are finding difficult, you know. So, um, that being said, HTML, what is HTML, if I may ask? HTML simply means hypertext markup language. From this definition, it says it is the most building. Um, basic building block of the web. It then it defines the meaning and structure of the web content. So there are other technologies, of course, but uh, what we are concerned about right now is HTML. So um, HTML typically uh, is a standard markup language used to create web pages. It provides the structure and presentation of the content of the World Wide Web. And um, uh, HTML, of course, like it says here. It says <clears throat> there are other technologies beside HTML and are generally used to describe a web page's appearance, which is talking about the CSS, the styling, and of course, functionalities and behavior. Now, let me explain this with a real life scenario. For example, let's assume you want to um, you want to establish a car, you want to make a car. You start with um, having the skeletal formation of the car, which is the iron and all that, the engine, blah, blah, blah. That is it. Then, what makes the car beautiful, of course, is the interior, the uh, the interior, the stereo, the you know, the covering, the coloring, the you know, painting, or whatever, whatever, whatever. The dashboard. That is the CSS. Now, the functionality is there. Dead is that. Is the car able to move? If the car is moving, what makes the car to move? Is the JavaScript. What makes the car to uh, to move from one point to another to, to be useful to be to be uh, uh, useful beyond the beauty beyond the beauty aspect of it is what is JavaScript so we have HTML to structure the website the front end of the website we have CSS to beautify it to make it look beautiful and we have JavaScript to give it uh, uh, to give it behavior and functionalities you can imagine a world without JavaScript, CSS, and JavaScript. Let me try to pop nose into the next class a bit. CSS and JavaScript. Let me give you a glimpse of what I'm talking about. This is uh, Google. Google in October 15th, 2000. 
this is how Google looks like compared to Google now you know it's some um, big difference from 2000 down to now almost 23 years look at the differences no this is a world without CSF it's just only HTML so back to develop um, Chrome development to the tool we uh, it says here that hypertext refers by hypertext it means it refers to the links that connect web pages to one another either uh, within a single website or uh, it says it refers to links that connect the web pages to one another either within a single website or between websites you understand what I'm saying so links are fundamental aspect of the web by uploading content to the web to the internet and linking it to the pages created by other people you become an active um, participant in the world wide web yes what is trying to tell you that and he now says here it says HTML uses markup to annotate text images all the content for display in the web browser what they are saying here is that because HTML is a markup language uh, it is pertinent uh, 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 to understand that it uses a set of tags to define the element and component of the web page such as headings um, tags such as paragraphs, images, links, tables, and forms. These tags are enclosed in an angle bracket. You know, the less than and greater than sign in mathematics is what they are talking about, and are typically represented as opening tags. When you have the less than and open, uh, less than and greater than sign without a fourth slash before the less than sign, it is called an open tag. And of course, a closed tag. When you have a fourth slash there, it is a closed tag. Now. Let me explain some key concepts and elements in HTML. Uh, we have, we're talking about, here yeah, we'll be talking about the document structure. An HTML, an HTML document is structured using um, HTML tag, which is this. Oh, okay, it is not here, but you just write, you know, for example, you look at this head, just write HTML. So that's how it is structured. Uh, and it is called the root element, of course. It contains two main sections we have the head section which includes the meta information about the document and the body section which which contains the visible content of the web pages now we talk about the headings html provides six levels of headings we have the h1 to h6 with h1 being the highest level of um, headings and h6 being the lowest level of headings headings are used to define the hierarchy and structure of the content you understand what I'm saying? So paragraphs and tests are also some key concepts and elements in HTML. Paragraphs are created using the P tag. Text formatting can be applied using um, tags such as bold, uh, that is angular B, uh, which is, I don't think it's not here. This is paragraph tag here. Uh, we have italics, which is I. We have uh, underline, which is paragraph view. I mean, which is um, tag you and we have uh, X which is the strike through uh, line breaks are achieved using the BR which is uh, it, it signifies line break that means if you want to give spaces between your content in, in the HTML um, page you have to, in the body page of the HTML you have to introduce what the line break which is a self closing tag then we talk about the links, of course. Hyperlinks are created using the, an uh, the anchor tag. The anchor tag is denoted with A. Let me see. It's not yet. So, well, let me see. Okay, let me just type what an anchor tag is. Uh, let me go. Let me come here and search for anchor tag. Anchor tag. The anchor tag. This is the anchor tag. It says an anchor and the anchor the anchor tag HTML element or an anchor element with its rare href attribute create an hyperlink to web pages, files, email addresses, location, yeah, location and the same page or anything else a URL can address. Now you agree with me if you try to navigate through within uh, a page. What is what enables that is what anchor tag. This is what they are saying here. This is what they are saying in practical here. Don't worry, we'll be um, diving deeper and we'll be having a full understanding of what this entails. Then we're gonna be talking about the images. The images are inserted using the IMG. Let me go back. IMG. 
Let's say images. Images. The images it's a read-only property of the document. I mean of the document interface returns um, of the document interface returns the collection of the images in the current HTML document. Images are inserted using the IMG tag. The SRC, which is the source attribute, specifies the image source. We have the URL or file path. And the ALT, which attribute, which is the attribute, provide an alternative test for accessible accessibility purpose. Now you would um you would have visited visited some websites where the uh, the image is not loading, and you have some um, write up there that you could say dog image. Uh, uh, you could say um, logo image. Now that is an alternative test in case, in case the um, there's uh, a, a loading issue with the website. Uh, the alternative test will tell you what was what was there or what is actually there. Now we have the list. Of course, list HTML support two types of list. We have the on. I mean, we have the ordered list. And we have the unordered list. Let's talk about list. Let's 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 check the list here. Let's look for list. What it says here. So, sorry, list. List. Let me say HTML list. okay it's not searching but let me tell you what it means it means uh we have okay it's supposed to uh like i said supposed two types of list or that list which is represented with ol in the in the tag and another list which is represented with ul in the tag list items are denoted using like i said l high tag which is nested within an ol or that list or another list or that list that why by the word nested it means it is placed inside ol tag or your tag then another thing we are talking about now is tables you know tables are created using the table tag it was there I think I saw something like table tag let me try to find what they say about table here yeah? so I said table um, the table in each is an HTML element that represents tabular data that is information presented in a two-dimensional table comprised of rows and columns of cells and what uh, cells containing data now this is what they say here but let me give you a rapt understanding of what table is anyways uh, it said tables are created uh, using uh, the tag of course which is this table tag and the table structure consists of the T head which is the table header and the T, bo the T body which is the uh, table body now the T foot, which is the table footer, rows are defined in using TR, which is table row, and cells within the rows are created using TD, table data, and TH, table header. Now forget about what I'm saying right now. These are these are what I'm trying to say here. I think is here. This is the T head. Uh, this year is the T head. This year is the TR. This year is the table header. The table row. The table head. Uh, the table head. Uh, adding which is the TR, uh, that is the table header, sorry, which is the TM head, and the table row, which is the, of course, uh, uh, which is uh, a rows, which is which is a row rather. Um, then uh, we have um, TH, which is donated to be table header. Now you will see that this TH is inside, is nested in a t table row. And it's also nested in the table head. You cannot call it T head here because you are using table header to define the header, the topmost header of the table. Now the T roll is 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 um uh is um it's talking about the rows here, which is this, which is this. Then we have um, um uh, of course this table header. Now what you this is this element are uh, is carrying or is pregnant with all these information here and it's what it is it's not a self-closing tag it closes here with a, with a fourth slash you understand what i'm saying so 
uh, like I said, we have the T-Row, t head and we have the table data, uh, the table data, we have the, um, we have, of course, like I said, the table head and table, whatever, 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 table body, and, you know, table body is the body within the table, you know, like we have normal body, so the body within the table is a table body. So we're going to be under having an understanding, a full understanding of what this is when we start to code in practical. Uh, but now we're just trying to uh, to get acquainted with what all these terminologies are. But I'll, um, I'm going to send, I'm going to uh, uh, give a note, I'm going to send a note to the fly so that you can have access to it. You can have access to a full note and understanding. I've drafted a note on this so that you can have a knowledge of uh, what I've been saying, you know, without getting lost. Um, another thing we should consider in terms of um, the key concept of HTML is the forms. Let's see what form is. Let's see what NDN explain about forms. Uh, HTML forms. Now, what did he say? Yeah, he said all web developer. Forget about what he says. Let me give a definition of it. HTML provide form element to collect user input. Now, when you're trying to collect user input, uh, what you'll be needing is a form. Forms are created using the tag uh, form tag. Form control includes text input, which is a uh, you indicate the type of uh, uh, input they are gonna make. What kind of input do you want? Is it text input? Is it radio input, input, is it um, phone number input, whatever, whatever. Then we have, of course, we have check buses um, input. We have, uh, uh, we have, uh, and as well, we can select drop downs. We can have um, button and more and more and more. User input is sent to the server side script for processing using the action attribute. You know, it is something that, um, um, calls on the server side to get information you know using what an action attribute now another thing we should think about is the division which is the div element the div tag it's a generic container that is used to do, to, to group and style element it is often used in conjunction with css which is the cascading style sheet that we're talking about to apply styles and layout to the specific section of the web page the other thing we should consider or look into is semantic elements. HTML5, uh, this is something that was introduced by, it, uh, by HTML5, you know. HTML5 introduced several semantic elements that provide meaning and structure to the web content. Example includes the header, we have the nav, we have the article, um, we have the section, the side, uh, we have the, let me go to the home page, sorry. Uh, let me go to the home page and look for the HTML. I think I saw most of those things written there. We have the uh, side, we have the footer. Yeah, here is it. We have the, uh, yeah, here is it. Sorry. We have the footer, we have the article, we have the section, we have details, detail list, you know, at what have you and what are embed. Of course, embed, no, sorry. You have the nav, you have the output, progress, what have you and what have you. All these forms. All these falls under semantic element. Sorry, all these fall under semantic element. So um, I think we have an understanding and concept of what um, HTML is before we go deeper. These are just the fundamental concept in HTML. HTML is often uh, complemented by CSS, of course, like I said, for styling and JavaScript for interactivity um, to create dynamic and engaging web pages. Uh, that being said, we're gonna be going deeper now. Uh, we're gonna be um, starting to code in our HTML. We are start We are going to be starting to code in HTML um, after this session. Thank you.